lesson 23. This lesson is on English units and unit multipliers. And it's going to build on something that we did a couple of lessons ago when I was talking to you about cross canceling and multiplication. It's going to be very important for you to remember. All right, first I've listed for you the English units of measurement that we most often use, and that is 12 inches is a foot, 3 feet equals 1 yard, and 5,280 feet equals 1 mile. Now, if I wanted to put that into a unit multiplier, I would either say, um, excuse me, <clears throat> 12 inches in one foot, or I could say one foot in 12 inches, okay? Three feet. Now, the trick is knowing which one to use when, and that's where the cross canceling comes in to play. Alright, go to the next uh, frame. Okay, so our directions tell us to convert 72 inches to feet and to use a unit multiplier to do that. So I start with what I'm given. I have 72 inches. I need to convert that to feet, so I'm going to say time. And here's how you know you've got 72, I mean, I'm sorry, not 72, you've got 12 inches in a foot or one foot in 12 inches. Now how do you know which one to use? Well, you're going to use the one that has inches on the bottom. Now, why am I going to do that? Well, because this inches that I started out with needs to cross cancel with this one. So you see they're diagonal from each other, so they can cross cancel. And then that leaves me with the one that I've been told to find. Now, how do you do the math? Well, for right now, we're not really concerned with whether or not you know how to do the math as far as the conversion itself. We're more concerned with do you know how to set it up. But I do want to show you what this means. When you multiply, you've got 72 times 1 is 72. And the 1 that we understand to be under 72 times 12 is 12. And then you would say how many times 72 divided by 12 answer to that would be 6. So 72 inches would equal 6 feet. But like I said, for right now, all we're going to be looking for is that you can set it up correctly like this. Okay? Go to the next frame. So these directions say use a, a unit multiplier to convert 430 feet to yards. Well, here are the two unit multipliers that I can choose from. Um, <clears throat> there are three feet in a yard, three feet in a yard. So how do you know which one to use? Again, you've got to think about starting with what you've got. And if I think about this as being a fraction over one, then I've got to use the one that will cross cancel out feet. So feet has to be on the bottom and yards has to be on the top. So I will use this one. And then if I were going to actually convert it, I would divide 430 by 3. But again, that's not this particular part right here. This is what we're going to be looking to see if you know how to do this and set it up correctly. Because if you do, you can do the conversion. You can do the, the simple math. It's just setting it up correctly that we need to see. Right. Go to the next spring. Right. This example, example um, number three, say 
to convert 4.6 miles to feet. So we're going to start with 4.6 miles. And we're going to say, okay, which one of these would allow miles to cross cancel out and end up with feet? Well, obviously, it's this one right here. So I'm going to put 5,280. If I wanted to solve it, which I don't, I would say 5,280 times 4.6. Okay, next page. Alright, this one is going to go from feet to inches, and we know that our multipliers are 12 inches in one foot, or one foot equals 12 inches. Alright, we start with what we have, 17,200 feet, and I need to cross cancel feet out, so it's going to go on the bottom going to try to go to inches, so that's going to go on the top. So this, for this one, I'm going to use this multiplier, which has the 1 on the bottom and the 12 on the top, and I would say 17,200 times 12 to get my answer. Again, let me stress to you, we do not want you to do the math. You can do that on a calculator. We only want to know that you can set it up correctly so that you could Pull out a calculator and do it if you needed to. Okay, go on to C. Alright, this one is feet to inches again, so we're going to have 12 inches in one foot or one foot is equal to 12 inches. And I'm given 412 feet to start with. to end up with inches, and I need to cross cancel feet, so which one am I going to use? I'm going to use this one, 12, 1. So in this one, if I were going to be solving, I would say 412 times 12. Alright, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for lesson 24, which is really more of the same thing. Multiplies rather than English.